Hey everybody, it's your old cousin Jack with another episode of Wood Carving Weekly. So this week we have new videos from Stinnett Sticks, Carving, Fusion, Van Kelly, and much, much more. And I'm going to make it easy for you to find all of these resources because I'm going to put links for everything I talk about in the description right below this video and then also in the comments section below. So let's get started. Well, way back in 1928, a small one-room shop opened in Boston's North End, and they were selling wood carving supplies and tools. And that little shop has grown quite a bit. That was the beginning, actually, of the Woodcraft franchise. Nowadays, you can find Woodcraft stores in 70 locations across the United States. They're also on all the social media platforms, including a YouTube channel. Woodcraft's YouTube channel has about 600 free videos for you, covering all kinds of woodworking topics and, of course, wood carving as well. And their most recent video is a must-see for anyone who has a bandsaw. Woodworking expert Alex Snodgrass provides some really important tips on how to tune up your bandsaw. Like, for example, when you put on a new blade, should you put it right in the middle of the wheel? Or not? Like I said, it's a must-see. Take a look and see if your bandsaw is performing as well as it can. Well, this next video is also from Woodcraft. You know, Woodcraft has a website, of course, and on that website there is a blog. You'll find there a three-part series about Ernest Mooney Warther. Now, Mooney Warther died 50 years ago, but he was a master carver, and today his legacy lives on through his family, and also to the museum in Dover, Ohio. In the video that I'm sharing, you'll see a fascinating story about Mooney, his life, some of his accomplishments, uh, really amazing. I, I suggest you check it out. In addition to that, you may have already seen, somewhere along the way, someone who whittles a working pair of pliers out of a piece of basswood. Well, that was Mooney Warther. And I'm going to share another link for you to show how to make a pair of working pliers with 10 cuts. Now, Mooney Warther, as I'm told, could do that in 10 seconds. His son demonstrates, and he does it in about 20 seconds. Anyway, take a look at the video, learn more about his history, and tour the museum in Dover, Ohio. Well, next we'll go to the Wilkinson Woodcarving YouTube channel. Yeah, Tom has a brand new video, and this is a woman, yeah, a female wood spirit. It's an interesting carve. Tom is using a variety of tools and carving a piece of cottonwood bark. He says that he intended this to be just a practice piece that he happened to be videotaping, but he was so pleased with the outcome that he decided to share it on his YouTube channel. So it's worth a look. I think you'll enjoy it, so take a look. Over at Stinnett Sticks, Mike Stinnett has a new video. In it, he's giving away some of his secrets. He talks about how to add details to a walking stick. He's working on walking stick 119. And there is a snake on the walking stick, which takes more than 5,000 individually added scales. He said, hey, this is a small snake. Some snakes require more than 10,000 scales. Yeah, he adds one each individually, also paints them individually. Pretty amazing. Anyway, in this video, he's going to tell you why he looks cross-eyed at his carvings and what he does with a bullet casing and why he added a serrated edge to it. He also talks about how to get a uniform looking knurled handle onto a walking stick. This is a great video. I think it's perfect for anyone who's a wood carver, not just walking sticks. I think what you'll find here is going to be valuable no matter what you like to carve. Check it out. Next we'll visit the Tay Marie YouTube channel where Taylor is carving an owl out of a log that's kind of got a Y shape to it. She talks about some of the challenges that she's up against with this piece of wood. And in this video she uses a variety of tools including a brand new, I guess to, new to her, electric chainsaw that she bought secondhand on Facebook Marketplace. It's a little chainsaw. She says having an electric saw will help her during the cold winter months. She could actually carve indoors and not worry about fumes from her gas-powered chainsaw. 
Anyway, this was supposed to be a preparation piece because Taylor is going to be doing some carving demos at the Winterfest up there in Maine. So if you're in Maine, you might want to look it up, check her out, and go watch her do some demos. Take a look at the video as well. Well, there's a brand new video from Van Kelly. Yeah, Van is sharing some resources, some of his favorite things that he believes are valuable to wood carvers. So, for instance, he talks about some of his favorite wood carving and whittling books from authors like Mike Shipley, Harold Enlow, and others. And in addition to the books, he also is sharing and, and kind of showing some of the study sticks that he has that he recommends for people who are interested in carving Santas or cowboys or other figures as well. So take a look at the brand new video from Van. Well, folks, I want to thank you. The channel is growing, continuing to grow. And I think if you like this video, you're going to like this one right here too. Check it out.